Hello, my name is Chris, and I live in Glen Burnie, Maryland, on a houseboat. I grew up and I lived with my father until the age of four on a houseboat, and then he bought a normal house on the water. I never got to grow apart from the water. It's always been a part of my life, so I don't ever want to leave it. I guess that's why I'm back on a houseboat as an adult. There wasn't many options for my father growing up, so after a failed marriage, renting was not big on his to-do list, so he wanted to find an alternative form of living, and his great-grandmother lived on the water, and it was a shore home that was built in the 40s. So he wanted to be close by her, and... He wanted to be independent, so a form of living to be independent when you don't have a lot of money would be on a houseboat. And it has its perks and its cons, but in my opinion, uh, it was a big perk for him because he was able to be close to his great-grandmom and be on the water, which is a passion of his that he loves very much. This boat was a 32-foot drifted cruise, typical houseboat. He stripped the motor out of it. It was an old motor and put an outboard on it because it's a lot more reliable. And he would take it on the weekends. He had a lot of friends feel sorry for him, but at the end of the night, everyone wanted to hang out with him and party with him. So it kind of turned into a big adventure for him. What made me choose to live on a houseboat was growing up on the water. I feel very fortunate as a child to be a part of this lifestyle. Not only the houseboat lifestyle, but living on the water, growing up on it. It's always been there. It's calm and relaxing. It's something I can go to that gets rid of all my worries and troubles. It's a... Uh, it's a great escape. It's also very therapeutic, in my opinion. Also, uh, growing up, I learned that uh, it's you know a lot of a lot of maintenance and care for boats, but it's like I said, always very rewarding. I didn't like the idea of um, when I once I got older, I wanted to have my own place, but. Um, with single income, not unless you have a really good career with a college education, in my opinion, or trade, um, it's very hard to afford things on your own. So I wanted my own place after I moved away for a short period of time. found myself always coming back. I was 20 miles away, but I would find excuses to come back two, three, four times a week to visit my dad and be close by the water because I had a small runabout boat that I would take everywhere. And it just just became too much of a uh, way on me. And not even moving away for three months, I had to be back by the water. And I did whatever it took. So I wanted to have my own place, something that would be affordable, and something that would be for me. So I decided to get a houseboat and it took a long time to find one because I'm a tall person and I had a budget in mind but what I wanted and what I could afford was two different things and the search began so I turned to Craigslist and I searched for months looked at 10 houseboats and none of them were nice they were all dockered up but the issue I was finding was headroom so I decided to give up and hold off for a while. Something else would come up. And uh, by the time this was winter, turning into spring, so a couple months went by, and I looked for one, and it was March, approaching March, should I say. And I saw one, you know, just, just kind of scrolling, not even looking. And um, it popped up. It was a amazing thing it blew my mind it was a, a barge with a house structure it looked like a floating shed almost 
at Gingerbread House, and it was it was great. It was just like Christmas. I I couldn't believe it. And I called the gentleman, and he took forever to get back to me. I thought it was sold. I've never seen anything like it for my life. Um, and I went to view it, and I fell in love with it. I realized it was perfect for me because it had really tall ceilings. It was fairly new. It was built in 2004. And it was perfect for me. It needed a lot of work, and I had to tow it because it didn't have a motor, so I contacted my friend Ryan, who is a diesel mechanic and is great with boats, and we called another person and scheduled a time and date when it wasn't windy or raining and towed it six hours from Annapolis to Stony Creek and Glen Burnie, where we can only go six mile an hour. So it was a long day and rained halfway through, even though we thought it would be nice. To describe it, I would say it looked like a gingerbread house had a green corrugated roof had brown siding and just looked like a big gingerbread house it was uh put together with scrap wood had uh windows that you could crank open and it would slide sideways and they were all metal and the doors were metal it basically looked like a summer shack home and didn't have uh really any amenities it had a air conditioner but it wasn't properly sealed and you definitely couldn't live in it during the winter months the guy used it as a summer cottage for um, overnight guests at his marina and the gentleman i bought it from his wife used it as a painting studio and grew old and uh, couldn't use it really anymore like she wanted to the Roof, like I said, was corrugated, wasn't very well insulated. Had a bathroom with this massive, looked like a spaceship toilet. You had to, I, I'm six foot four, and I actually had to step up on a stool to sit on the toilet. It was uh, very tall, and it had, a, had this big pipe going out the side and a fan. And when you went to the bathroom, you had to turn the fan on to ventilate the um, poop smell out. It was really gross. So I oh, and it also had a uh, had a loft. It had not so well carpet. It's just the bathroom was gross. It had a baseboard for a kitchen. It just had a piece of wood on top of a small fridge, and it had this old plumbing that was broken. I had no idea about it, and the I ended up paying fifty three hundred bucks for it, and sunk another sixteen grand into it, and ripped everything off down to the studs, and took and remodeled it like a. Let's see. So I've lived in it for three years now, and by the second year, I started getting serious with a girl. So we've been together for some time and decided I want to get a cat. So I got Snickers and my girlfriend decided that that name wasn't good enough. So she changed it. I just want to make sure that's in the documentary. She changed it. So living, living in the houseboat, I, um, I live with myself and Celia and a small cat. It's overwhelming at times with the smell. <laughs> from Celia. She really stinks. But the cat litter smell it sucks sometimes when it's hot out or when the cat poops because it's such a small space and it's so insulated. It just reeks. You have to turn on a candle. I have a small water tank that runs to a pump that has a hot water heater. The water doesn't last long. It only lasts about 12 minutes running it continuously before it runs out of water. I have to be cautious when living with a woman and cat about water use because they use it all. And I need a bigger water tank. That would probably be a disadvantage. Advantage would be independence, million dollar view, 
no mortgage, just a slip fee, like um, like a marina fee. It can be affordable, depending on what you make it. Um, definitely a lot cheaper than having to pay rent somewhere, and I can call my own. Um, no motor. Weather weather doesn't really affect it that much, not unless it's windy, then it likes to sway, it doesn't really rock, and it just sways, and the rope catches, and it shifts you over, and it just feels like a crazy haunted house ride. And the boat does rock from waves. I feel like living on a houseboat makes you more mindful of your surroundings, and makes you get outside more, which is good, and makes you appreciate the person more, because you're closer to them, and but also it makes you realize that you're living in a small city. You have to be mindful of the other person and be polite. Even if the other person's sloppy, you have to be polite. I would tell someone who wants to live in a houseboat, do it for the right reasons. Don't do it because it, you're trying to save money. Do it because it's something you are love and passionate about. And if you want to do it, rent one. See if you have friends who have them and... See if you can stand living in a small space because it's a lot more difficult than it seems, especially when you have to share it with a woman and a cat. Or if you're sharing it with a man and a cat, that's fine too. But just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons.